That was a quick bounce back at work. He really saved the sure two-pointer for the uh, Red, Chris for Redmanizers. Akoiko on rainbow territory. He can do it from the outside. He inches much closer. Freddy Ubalde trying to outmaneuver Frank Kilimi. Gets away in the third. Hits Good the open pass. pass. Well, the name of the game is still defense. You'll notice the, how, how well both teams have been switching. They've been communicating well on the floor. We have seven seconds before the end of the third. It's a seven-point game for Great. They strike him and gets away. Deflected by Willis. Harpy on their knee. No foul. And we now have the horn sounding the end of the third quarter. However, we heard the whistle. It is a foul called against Kidaben as Victorino picked up the offensive boards going up and fouled on the act of shooting. That will be the fourth personal foul called against Abed Kidaben. So Victorino has pressure on his shoulders. He delivers the first one. One thing the Great Days team will have to reckon is they should forget about, you know, complaining to the referees and just concentrate on the game. So Mike Cristobal is in the game now, coming in for Atoiko. Kidaben on a fadeaway, scoring his 18th point. At the moment, it's a six-point game, being enjoyed by Great Taste Coffee. We entered the fourth and last quarter. They were in front by eight points. Cristobal taking over Ricardo Brown. Ani Victorino at the wings, looking for a cutter. Doesn't find any, he'll take it in. Cesar in good position. He touched it last, could not control it. Another opportunity for the coffee makers. Inbounding is Frankie Lim. Oh, that's a well-executed play, partner. Well-diagrammed play going for Coach Baby D. Victorino hitting the sweet spot. 16 points to his credit. Also pulled down 11 rebounds. Back rim shot. Willis losing it. Picking out to Ricardo Brown. There's Obalde in front of him. He checks himself. Inside to Franklin. Here comes Carpio, but Cesar is there. Great shot coming from Carpio. It's a 10-point lead for Great Taste right now, and they're starting as, as strong here in the fourth quarter as they did in the third quarter. Well, I think uh, Atoy Ko should be back in the ball game. Atoy is a strict shooter. He's the, he's the guy that could probably get them back in the ball game with a 10-point bubble. They don't put him in. It seems like Carl Willis has been struggling with his shot. Obalde looking for room. Fade away, and Kidaben skits outside of the court. He's okay. The game has gotten to be rugged and very physical. Frank, we have a beautiful hit coming from Ricardo Brown. That's Ricky's area, dead center. You cannot leave him open for that shot, or else you begin to play with fire. Ricardo Brown was so quiet during the first quarter, only two points. Then he came back very strong, wide awake. He's got 25 points right now. Here is Willis at the wings. Ricardo Brown trying to float. Here's Kidabin. Almost had it from 16 feet. Good pass by Loisaga. Cesar taking a plunge. He's now cherry picking. But Chris is not going to get any of this ball game if they're going to keep on falling down the floor and not come back for defense because Great Taste is going to take every two points that they can get. You've got to show a lot of intensity and Cesar and Carpio have been bagging against each other. Paul Carpio. We have a war right it's here in the court. So we've got uh, two guys coming in for the uh, Redmanizers. This is uh, Biljamin and uh, Atoiko. Rested on the benches, Abed Kidaben and uh, Bai Cristobal. Good pacing coming from Coach Bernie. You said at the top of the show that this is so much joy. I thought so. <laughs> there really was. You know, you got uh, one camp here cheering for the Great Taste team. They brought their own uh, people and the Redmanizers. They've always had tremendous followers in the basketball game. Collins comes back into the ball game to replace Joy Carpio, who really did a good job while he was away. Carpio, seven points, also pulled down three rebounds, three personal fouls. I think a physical battle against Philip Cesar. Coming out, and Ricardo Brown did not get the Norman Black. Atoy on his second defensive rebound. 
Here's Ovalde trying to shake and deflected by Ricardo Brown Collins. It's only Villamin, they run a clinic. Collins! That's a great taste team. They're showing the Red Menacers how it is to run the break. Nice two-man game between Jeff Collins and Ricky Brown. Definitely in this ball game, Pingoy and Freddy, the Red Menacers have lost on fast break points to the Great Taste Coffee Makers. Because Good their pass. rotation in defense is really very poor. Now Cesar, 11 points. Made eight during the first half of play. Also pulled down three rebounds. Had a beautiful executed inside pass to him. Well, the Great Taste team, they seem to be losing wind, you know, as they walk, gonna walk it up uh, defense. Or rather offense. A foul is called on Philip Cesar as he moves foul with the uh, offensive player. Jeff Collins. That'll be the fourth personal foul carried by Philip Cesar. One team foul each. Time is 8 and 24 at the moment. It's an 11 point game being enjoyed by great taste. Could be stretched further depending on Collins. Collins a little weak in that free throw of his, but he can still make the lead 12 if he should convert on this second. 96 85, 8 minutes and 24. Enough time for Crispa to come back, but they have to organize. Collins has pulled down 13 rebounds, 9 and 4, while Willis only 6 rebounds. Cesar gets it in spite of the fact that Collins was there, but Collins just wasn't going to risk it. He already is playing with 4 personal fouls. He's going to give up the shot rather than commit his 5th foul, and Philip knew it, so Philip took his time and got the easy basket. It's a 10-point game, still great taste. Great taste has slowed up the game a little bit now. They're trying to make use of the clock because they have a 10-point lead. They only have four on the shot clock. Difficult move Ooh. coming from Collins. Aeronautical creativity. Oh, that was showtime definitely for Jeff Collins as he went for a very arch shot. It was a high one off the boards. We have a turnover. Three on two situation. Ricardo Brown stops yeah. on a dime. Guards are not coming back again, and that's the problem there. And Bernardo certainly needs a timeout right now. Instead, he's dispatching Kidabin, who has been calling the board control. So far, Kidabin, 12 rebounds from the wings. We have a hit coming from Freddy Hubalde. Only eight points for him tonight. He's been very consistent though, ever since he came back. Huh? Yes, and as you said, uh, Andy, I'm sure Coach Bernardo, he'd like to call a timeout. The problem is there are no uh, dead ball situations. No fouls have been called on both ends of the court. And Brown gets away from Atreko again, but he misses this one. Here is Collins. It's a three and two situation this time. Good pass. Double Cesar was right there. Didn't get it. But Freddy Ubalde at the wings right now. And we have referee Bartolome stopping play. Maybe a foul called against Collins. Trying to embrace Cesar. Oh, preventing him Collins. from cutting. It is the fifth personal foul now called against Time Collins. With 6 and 44, we have a timeout asked by coach Baby D. side we have six minutes and 44 coach baby d retains collins in the game after he caught the side he got distracted by ricardo brown big rebound from lois saga that is his fourth defensive rebound tell you with the big frame of uh, chito lois saga is making use of this you know and he knows very well how to position himself underneath for both offensive and defensive rebounds Franklin, brother situation, Victorino going to Ricardo Brown, works on the pick, he puts it up. He knew that 25 seconds was just Wait about picking away. Violation. It's a violation, we have a turnover. At the moment, the Red Bonizers are trailing by 12 points, 6 and 12 to go. Two team fouls by Great Taste, and only one for Crispa Red Bonizers. There's a cut going right through Villamil, he's in the game, and... Victorino's guilty of the foul as Kidabin oh, made a penetration that'll be the third against Manny. I don't know if uh, this is right, Andy. I figure that with the uh, five personal fouls of uh, Collins, they should uh, give an isolation play to Philip Cesar to get his sixth. I doubt if he's even going to play defense on Philip. Well, they did in that play, but Brown immediately helped out. That's why Philip tried to get the pass 